Hi, this is Destiny from Desfix and welcome back to another video in the blog app using Django and React.js. In this one, we will get started working with the post comment ABI view. That is what we'll be doing. Hopefully, you will enjoy the video and learn something new. So, let's get started. Begin by opening up your code editor and all the way at the bottom, I will create a new class and call this one post comment API view. And this one should inherit from API view. So over here, I'll create a new post method and this should take in self and request. And the first thing I want to do is get post ID from the front end. So I believe I've explained this in the previous tutorial. So I'm getting post ID, name, email, and comment. So this should be name, this should be email, this should be comment. Now this should be the same thing that we have over here too. Okay. So after that, we now need to fetch the post. So post should be equal to API models, the posts, the objects, the get, where ID is equal to the post ID. Now let's create a new comment. So I'll say API models, the comments, the comments, the objects, the create, Post should be the post that we have fetched. Name should be the name that we got from the front end. Email should be the same thing as email. And also comment should be comment. Please change this to equal to, okay? We are not working with JSON data here. So equal to this. All right, so after that, that is pretty much everything that we want. Let's just go ahead and create notification to be the same as this. So you could just take that, put it down here. And the user can be null or the user should be post.user because it's the creator of the post that gets the notification, okay? The post should be this post and the type should be comment, simple. Now simply return a response back to the front end. So I will say comment sent, comment sent. Okay, simple. Now let's take this over here and pretty much put it down here so that we can be able to modify the Swagger UI and type in our own um, data from the front end. So we need name. Um, only the post ID should be an integer. Every other thing should be type string, okay? I need name, email, and comment. So this should be email and this should be comment. After that, that is everything. Now let's set us up in the API URLs. So over here, you can go ahead and duplicate this one and pretty much call it post comments, post comments API view. And this should be posts slash comment posts. And um, wait for that to reload. There you go, there you go. So now when you reload this page, you can now see post comments. Now you can try this out. Your post ID should be number one. We want to comment on the first post. Name should be Destiny Franks. Email should be destiny at gmail.com. Comment should be this post is really helpful. Then execute post. See, comment sent. So if you come over here, open up comment. See, we can now see that we have a new comment. This post is really helpful email, name, and the actual post that we are working on. So that is it. You can see how easy it is to build things like this using Django. Very simple code, straight to the point. And also, if you open up notifications, you can also see we now have a couple notifications. This one is like, this one is like, this one is comment, you see? So comment on post and the person that should see it, and it's not yet seen. You guys will see how we'll work with all this in the future tutorials. So I believe that is pretty much it for now. If there is something that you don't understand, please let me know in the question and answer section below and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Check out some of the courses in the description below as one of them will help you become even a better Python Django developer. Also, if you're looking to build websites faster and easier with professional components, check out nestblog.app as they've got a lot of components to help streamline your development experiences. I hope to see you in the next video. And until then, my love, peace out.